Hey friends, welcome back to Sunday School here at First United Methodist Church. Man, we are so glad that all of you are joining us this morning. Easter isn't just a day, it's a whole season in between Easter Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, which is June the 2nd. On Pentecost, we'll celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit and the birthday of the church. But right now, we're in a season in the church where we are remembering the stories of Jesus after his resurrection. After Jesus was raised on Easter Sunday and the tomb was empty, he appeared to his disciples and to others for 40 days before he ascended back up in the clouds to heaven. This Sunday, we're reading a story called The Great Commission. It's found in the Gospel of Matthew. Remember, gospel means good news. And remember, Matthew is one of just four gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These four gospels are the beginning of the New Testament, those last 27 books in the Bible. Hear our story, follow along from the Spark Story Bible, or look it up in your Bible in Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and earth. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful. We knew it. Fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, said Jesus. There's more. And the disciples listened carefully. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began to do the work that Jesus told them to do. Our memory verse for this week. Remember, our memory verse is the verse that helps us remember the story. Is Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. If you look it up in one of these Bibles that we give you guys when you enter into third grade, the Adventure Bible, it actually calls this text words to treasure. I think we should treasure these words. Go and make disciples of all nations, and you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. There's two really important things about this story. The first one is a promise. Jesus promises to always be with you, no matter what, no matter where you go. There's not anywhere you can go that God isn't already there. And that's such a hope-filled and joy-filled thing to remember because it means even when you feel alone, you're never really alone. And then the second is this commandment, this thing that we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go and show and tell people everywhere the good news about Jesus. Your curriculum had some really good ideas about how you could do this. I love these ideas. Show Jesus's love by telling someone what you love about them. Maybe you can do that in Sunday school today. Another idea was to draw a giant heart on your driveway or sidewalk and write, love lives here inside of it. A third one was to write, I follow Jesus on the bottom of your shoe. And then finally, their last idea was give everyone who lives with you a hug and a kiss before you leave each morning. These are great ideas to show and to tell people in your life about Jesus's love. Maybe you can think of other ideas in Sunday school this morning. I hope you all have a great class. I hope you have fun with your teachers and friends, and I hope we'll see you back next week here at First United Methodist Church. Bye, friends. Your broken 
heart is the power. Yeah, God is power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. Cause God is here and He is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, three. Now take tiny little jumps. Everybody clap your hands. Now stop. I feel it in the air right now. It's all around. I see it everywhere. It's the power. Yeah, yeah, God is power. It's the power to move and it start. It's the power to heal your broken heart. It's the power. Yeah, God's power So don't hold back, no, don't hold still God is here and He is real Take four steps to the left, to the left One, two, three, four Turn it around and move to the right One, two, three Now take tiny little jumps Four to the front Everybody clap.